Good morning! So we're starting this vlog off at a sunrise shoot in San Francisco. We just shot the Golden Gate Bridge and we got a lot of footage from here. We also sent out a lot of amazing emails and now we're heading into town to shoot more. And it's 7.55 now and we've been up for a couple hours. And this day is gonna be amazing! So right now we're at this epic location. I mean, look at this view right here. And uh, we're just gonna try to get some skate shots and see what happens. It's Dion, he's driving this big, <laughs> the biggest American SUV you've ever seen around these streets. It's pretty amazing right there. Dion, you're a good driver. <laughs> Thank you, keep the vlog going. Yeah. So right now we're just doing some behind the scenes here on a, an old school uh, California scenic route. Alright, welcome to the Seaman Church here in San Francisco. So we're here with the priest who is from uh, Lura in San Jose. Almost. Almost Lura. Yeah. Gandal. Tronus. Tronus. It's amazing. He's from Tronus. And we're here in the Norwegian Seaman Church and we're gonna have some waffles and actually some good. What is it? Well, I just want to say thanks for, thanks for letting us come here. Yeah, oh, of course. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Well, hopefully you're going to have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, That's a hundred percent. We're hanging. <laughs> right. Enjoy the view. Enjoy the food. Yeah. All right, so we're in beautiful, sunny, San Francisco and we're here with Matoma who's having a show here tonight and Matoma is 100% a guy who believes in good times and who believes that people should follow their dreams so he's gonna tell us a bit about why you as a young kid who has dreams and you know has aspirations to do whatever you want to do if it's in video production or music or whatever it is why is it important to follow their dreams Tom? I think it's uh, super important that the young kids today have follow their dreams because they basically are the hope of the future. Being inspired, being creative, push yourself beyond your limits, just creatively and, and do what is the right thing to do from the inside. Because uh, if you try to do something that you don't have passion for and you you try to become something that you maybe don't want to become, it's easy to lose your path. So you always have to choose the things that you have passion for, things that you have dreamt of, and also don't go any shortcuts. There's so many people these days that try to, to use others for their success, and they spend money, and they spend this and that. That's completely wrong. You have to believe in the product you deliver, that it's good enough. From day one, I never have listened to anybody else than myself. Of course, I've taken advice, and, and it's al always good to have mentors, and always good to have people that you look up to. I always look up to my brother, and he, he doesn't do music at all but he have always given me that confidence that uh, I'm good enough to do it. So what do you say to like people who make music and they put on a song 
and it doesn't go anywhere. Just keep making music and don't make music just because you want to have a billion stream on a streaming service or you want the song to be on radio. Make music because it's fun because when you make it you have happiness inside because if you don't have happiness when you make music and you look at other producers and I want to make that song then you have failed because if you want to be like everybody else then you're just a big part of a pile that eventually will fail. So you, you have to keep pushing with your own dreams and you have to keep pushing with the belief that I can take all my impressions, all my expertise of listening to a lot of different music and make my own music. That's what I did. And uh, I'm, I'm still learning, like you can never be fully learned. You always have to, knowledge is everything, to, to always keep pushing, to always try to develop your sounds, go beyond your comfort zone and uh, again, not try to be like anybody else. Very good, very good. So you want to take a kid into the studio one day. Why is it important for you to give back to people who have dreams about making it in the music industry? Why is that so important for you? The most important thing for me is to meet people because people inspire me and hearing their stories. And there's no greater story than to influence a kid in the right path. And if you are young, uh, young producers, or maybe like 10, 12, 13 years old, and you, you wanna produce, you wanna make music, and you wanna try to accomplish something, not accomplishing by, by having streams on Spotify, but accomplishing your inner vision of making something that you're proud of and making something that makes you happy, then you belong in the studio with me. Amazing, amazing. All right, last question. So we talked to a film producer or like a video producer and one of the things he said is that the most important thing for him is to when people watch videos they should feel something. How, how does that relate to music and how does that relate to you? Everything, yeah. yeah. Everything, like if somebody puts on my music I want them to have the same experience that I had make, making it. Yeah. And, and if I accomplish that then it's special. Amazing. This is actually one of the things that when the first song of Matoma I actually listened to, you felt happiness. So you can actually feel it through the song and through the product, whether it's music or video or pictures or whatever. And uh, we appreciate you and we, we thank you for giving back <laughs> to no, and inspiring young kids because that's a lot of what Good Times is actually about, you know, helping people to push themselves. And when and also, also like Good Times, if you see here, it's about coffee stains. Yeah, we actually yeah. got some coffee Co stains. Coffee is the main ingredient <laughs> for, for happiness. But Tom, one of the reasons why we're here today in San Francisco yeah. is to see you perform. Yeah. So are we going to go check it out or what do you think? Probably. <laughs> first, gotta we be to, good. first we have to check out these Hollies. And Tom They're is bringing <laughs> surprise. All right, so we're here in San Francisco checking out Matoma's new gig. Uh, this is a guy I torment for three years. Let's have a look. I think he's absolutely crushing it. Now I will